Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with a stock market update on Monday, September 18th. So the stock market is still locked in a trading range. On the downside, we have support at 43.30, and on the upside, resistance at 45.40. Actually, we've been trading you know, well in the middle of that range now for over a week, so there's actually a smaller range in play at the current time. But those are, are the two numbers that I think are important here. If we break down below 43.30, there'll be a continuation to the downside. And if we finally break out over 45.40 on the upside, there'll be a continuation to the upside. Meanwhile, it's, it's just sort of a short-term uh, trading game, I guess. Uh, we still have the McMillan volatility band buy signal in place. And that, uh, that's targeting a move up towards 4,600. Uh, meanwhile, the equity only put call ratios, which have been quite bearish for a while now, uh, are potentially swinging over to a buy signal. Um, that hasn't been confirmed yet completely, but the computer analysis programs that we use uh, to uh, look at those charts is showing us that the standard ratio is on a buy signal, but the weighted ratio is not. Uh, we tend to think the weighted ratio is a little more important, so uh, we'll wait for that before uh, declaring a change of direction there from the equity only put call ratio. Uh, this is a very seasonally bearish week. Uh, the week after the third Friday of, of uh, September, it's the old uh, you know triple witching day. If you go back far enough, and typically though, it just has been a, uh, the case that the market declines in the last half of September, maybe the first part of. October, some years quite greatly, and last year, in fact, this week saw a loss of 180 S&P points. So uh, we are wary of that uh, very short-term uh, negative seasonal pattern that's in place. Meanwhile, uh, breadth has not been good, and so our breadth oscillators still remain on sell signals. Uh, this can change quickly, of course, but right now that is the case. They're still on sell signals. New, new highs and new lows on the New York Stock Exchange have uh, not been consistent enough to give any kind of signal there, so that indicator remains in a neutral state. Uh, the more bullish indicators are from volatility. Uh, VIX has remained low near 1314 level, so the trend of VIX buy signal is still in place. The previous uh, spike peak buy signal expired with a well, a slight gain in terms of S&P, a slight loss in terms of time value premium, but not a big uh, move either way. Meanwhile, though, uh, the VIX chart will remain positive for stocks unless VIX uh, breaks out over first over 16. And then if it were to break out over 18, that would be even more negative. But that isn't happening. And we're not seeing the construct of volatility derivatives. Uh, widen either. The term structures are positive there, and so that's also a bullish indicator for stocks. So the only um, new thing, I guess, is the potential buy center from equity-only put call ratios, uh, perhaps countered by the negative seasonality, at least for this week. Uh, if you visit our website, I invite you to take a look at our newsletters, where we cover these things in more detail on a daily basis. And meanwhile, have a great week trading.